pet tortoise goes missing for 30 years, then the family hears something in the closet. Lionel Almeida liked to collect things. According to his family, he had a passion for fix-it projects and would always pull over when he saw someone throwing away a perfectly good dresser or end table. He'd pick up the furniture and store it in a spare room of his house, a room his family usually avoided because of how cluttered it was. His passion lasted until his death, nearly 30 years later. As the children were going through the house, though, they still dreaded going into their father's spare room. They had no idea what was lurking in the space they'd spent their lives avoiding, and how the creature inside would give them the surprise of a lifetime. Lionel would probably say that his spare room was filled with treasures, but his children pretty much thought it was all junk. He just kept accumulating things, his daughter Lynetta said. In one of these old boxes, though, a treasure really was waiting to be found. When Lionel passed away back in 2013, his children were faced with a daunting task, to clean out the room they had avoided throughout their entire childhoods. We never dared go inside that room, Lynetta said. When they finally opened the door, they were overwhelmed. It was as junky as they'd expected, and the musty smell didn't make it a more desirable chore. Still, they got to work, all while reminiscing about better times spent as a family. One memory stood out above the rest. Back in 1982, Lionel came home with a surprise for Lynetta. She expected it to be some kind of garbage-picked furniture, but to her delight, it was actually a red-footed tortoise. Lynetta named the tortoise Manuela, and Manuela immediately became part of the family. Red-footed tortoises are popular pets in Brazil, where the Almeida family lives. They're inexpensive pets and are good with people. An added bonus? Unlike other pets, tortoises are calm, slow-moving creatures. So Manuela running away wasn't really a concern. At least, not at first. To the family's shock, not long after Manuela became part of the family, she vanished. The family combed through the house in their neighborhood looking for the little tortoise, but she was nowhere to be found. Still, the Almeidas had a theory. Despite their assumption that tortoises were too slow-moving to run away, they theorized that she had wandered out the door while the house was undergoing renovations. The workers had simply left the door open, they thought, giving Manuela an easy exit. The Almeidas realized the reality of the situation. Manuela was gone. With that, she became a memory for the family, one they talked about 30 years later as they emptied out their father's junk room. It was then that Lionel's son, Leandro, made an astonishing discovery as he carried his father's old boxes out to the dumpster. I put the box on the pavement, and a neighbor said, You're not throwing out that as well, are you? Peering into the box, Leandro was shocked to find that his father's old garbage-picked record player wasn't alone. The problem was, there wasn't a turtle in the box, like the neighbor thought. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, Leandro said. It wasn't a turtle at all, but a tortoise, and it looked like Manuela. I turned white, Leandro described. After all, it's not every day that your childhood pet rises from the dead. But that's what happened. Manuela, they discovered, was in the house the entire time. Manuela hadn't really been gone for 30 years. She'd just been in her father's junk room, the one they all avoided. We're all thrilled to have Manuela back, Lenita said. But naturally, the family has one question. How? No one can understand how she managed to survive for 30 years in there, Lenita said. Luckily for the Almeidas and for Manuela, Rio de Janeiro vet Jefferson Pyers has an answer for them, and they may have Lionel to thank for Manuela's survival. The old furniture Lionel often garbage picked off the street was probably rife with termites, especially after sitting in that spare room for so long. It's likely that Manuela survived off those termites, as well as other insects, and even condensation. Still, it's hard to believe. 30 years? According to Pyers, the red-footed tortoise, Manuela's species, is more resilient than the others. They can survive for two to three years without food, he explained. They eat fruit, leaves, dead animals, even feces. 
As far as Pyers knows, though, Manuela's survival of 30 years without actual food must be some kind of record. According to another vet, Anthony Pylney, reintroducing Manuela back into the world will be a challenge, but not impossible, if the right precautions are taken. They should go very slowly, he explained. Give Manuela warm water soaks and offer a small meal after she seems stable. So basically, the family will have to be like tortoises themselves, working slowly and steadily to bring Manuela back to health. After 30 years without her, though, the Almidas are just happy to have their old friend back again. It's just unbelievable, Lanita said, and she's not wrong. As far as tortoises go, though, survival, especially from humans, is simply in their nature. <laughs>